Right, so you guys want an unboxing. I'm not so great at videos. I'm no Michael Feng, so I'll do my best I can. I've already opened the pre-release. I couldn't wait for a video. Um, I was really excited. I haven't opened the others though, so I'll just quickly show you what I got through in the pre-release. Um, some pretty good pulls. It would have been a fun game to play with others. I'm going to keep the packs in the pre-release and maybe I can play with other friends who've opened theirs and we can redo a sealed event. Why won't you focus? There you go. So this is a great card. I was really excited to get this because I have a great Enchantress deck. Um, Sigarda as the commander. Sort of a Voltron Sigarda enchantment deck. Should be awesome. And that's going straight in there. And then an Obsidian. That was pack one. Focus. I guess of the bridge. Back two. That's a pretty good card for EDH and it looks good. And Glimpse of Tomorrow is pretty fun as well. Oh, that was a great pull. I was really excited about that. That's going straight into some of my more evil Voltron Commander decks. Very excited about that. This is a fun card, but I think it's banned in EDH. And then Necrogyph looks like fun as well for modern. Cool. Last pack of the pre release. card that came as the pre-release was a diamond lion foil uh, pre-release card that's really a great pull that looks like a fun card as well for uh, some EDH shenanigans lions are diamond on a stick 
Very nice. Okay, so let me get this all cleaned up and then I'll start with some of the others. Alrighty, let's get on to the uh, collector booster. That is exciting stuff. I'm really happy to be able to crack one of these so soon. So, right, just on release or before. Oh. Focus, come on, doesn't like to focus on the foil cards, there we are. The etched, in person they're not bad. I was worried they wouldn't be great, and I don't think they're amazing, but at least, at least it's better than a basic. And as more, okay, extended. Oh yeah, this is great. Nice for green stumpy. Trample over planeswalkers. I wonder how that's going to play out. That's pretty cool. This is the Modern Horizons 1 foil old border. Talisman of Resilience. Talisman of Resilience. Guys, well etched. They are darker in person than I thought they would be. And then Void Mirror. And your food token, golem token on the other side. Alright. Moving on. That's cute. Very cool. That scroll commander is going to be great. Oh, this is going to be fun to play. Especially if you can cheat it out. Graveyard recursion. That looks like good times. Focus. There we go. Oh, nice. Merfolk God etched. That looks good. Calibrated loss. Good. And scroll. Okay, let's go. <coughs>
Oh, great. Yeah. Timeless dragon. Extended. That's nice. Frog Samurai. <laughs> Oh. Didn't I just pull one of these? Oh, subtlety. Nice extended foil. Beautiful. That is a great pull. That is going to be a useful play. Nice tempo play of that card. Extended Shardless Agent. Nice. Misty etched beautiful. Oh, sorry, not etched, regular foil. Misty, very nice. That is an interesting swamp. Nice. Oh, lovely. Extended Verdant Catacombs. Really great. Oh, great. I was hoping for this as well. This is now a new commander staple for most white decks now. This is great. And it's nice to get it in the sketch, which is a little different. Very nice. Prismatic Vista etched old border. Amazing. So that's the third fetch land for this box so far. And we're not even halfway through. Wow, the etched is actually really nice on the Prismatic Vista. A lot of the times the edge makes the card looks a bit darkened, but with this art it actually is really great. There is beauty in the uncertainty of potential. That's really a nice pull. And Sylvan Anthem. Great, a nice green anthem. Because green creatures need to get bigger. Lovely. That was a really good pack. Okay. 
pack six. Foiling on those eyes is freaky. Yeah, I was hoping for that. I don't know what to make of this card. It's either going to become a new staple or it's not going to be used. Um, or not used much anyway. Three waiting three turns for two mana. It might not be relevant from those three turns. I suppose in Commander games can go long, but three turns can be long. Nice. Another one for the uh, Enchantress deck. Deep Forest Hermit Etched Great And the third time I pulled that Cool Halfway through Let's go That's useful. Good, I was hoping to get a nice extended counter spell. That looks really good. Actually really nice in person. disc etched so we can catch that etching in the light there you go and foil derma taxi oh, I'm not sure what happened there the camera crapped out oh, I just started to open the next pack yeah. Hello, focus. Thank you. Altar of the Goif. I think this means there's more Goifs coming down the road for sure, but I mean, how many and how soon? See the print line on that. I don't know if you can see it there. Can I see it. Focus. This pack. Ok, 
Okay, let's go. I don't know why these phones have trouble focusing on uh, foil cards. I like that forest. Nice. Oh, I was hoping to get that. Yeah. That is a nice one. Extended Yavimai Cradle of Growth. The Green Obog. Very cool. Oh, Urza Saga. Also really good. And the sketch version is actually really pretty in person. Oh, lost focus. Let me see if I can get a nice. Come on, camera. Cell phone cameras are not built for this there. It's as good as it's gonna get. There you go. Yeah, I like it. Ignoble Hierarch. Old border etched. Inevitable Betrayal, also a very fun card. There are some really great shenanigans you can get up to with some commander decks with this. And treasure hunter, great. That was a pretty good pack. Okay, three packs left. I think we got a chance of hitting a cheddar fang. Nice foil cheddar fang. Let's see what we got. Also quite a pretty mountain. The art they've chosen for the lands is actually pretty good. Necrogoyf extended. Sign of Draco Mythic. Hmm. Soul Snare, nice. Useful. Etchings of the Chosen. All border etched. Verdant Catacombs, the fourth. Fetch land. Old border etched. That's fantastic. I'm really happy with the fetch land pools in this packs. Just makes me wonder what the price or value of these fetch lands is going to be if there's so many in every uh, collector booster. Uh, U3 Fortune's Flame. Roll Goblin, yeah. Second last. I'm really pretty happy with this box so far. Um, there's been some really nice pulls. Let's see what we get. Nice. Old border goth. Come on, focus, buddy. There you go. Cool. 
Cool. Happy with that. He'll be a fun commander to play with. And the last pack. Empty box. How sad. For all the marbles. Last pack magic. Two talismans back to back. Oh, a fifth fetch land. <laughs> That's fantastic. And most of them I got are old borders. I think I only got one extended. I'll have to check as well. That's really nice. And foil vindicate extended. That's really great. That was a good box. Really happy with that. Um, I don't think I'm going to open this set booster on camera. Uh, it's already 26 minutes in just to do a collector booster and there's 30 packs in this. I'm going to bore everyone to death uploading a long video and it's exhausting. I'll just post the uh, final pics of my pulls on this. I hope uh, if you enjoyed that, let me know. That was fun. Cheers.